everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to give you my go to glam look but we're going to start by priming with the revolution pro pore minimizing primer and I just push this all into the skin this is very dimethicone based like a benefit professional so this will really even out any pores that you have on your face then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade porcelain I take two pumps of that and I use a Morphe blending sponge that is damp already and I will just press that into the skin using the flat side. This sponge really does help with pushing that product into the skin and making it look absolutely flawless. It's definitely my favourite way to apply a foundation at this minute. And I just do this all over the face ensuring I get a nice even coverage. Then I'm going to go in with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light and I just put this under each eye making sure I go up into those inner corners as I do get very dark there so I want to make those areas as light as possible. I take it on the chin, on the forehead and on the nose to make sure I give myself a very even looking face. I then take that same Morphe sponge and I will press that product into my under eye to ensure I get no creases in that under eye and then I use the same the product to prime my eyes for any eyeshadow that we are using later on. When you are putting on concealer make sure you're looking up so that you can get that concealer right into those creases. Then I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. This stuff is amazing. I got it off of loads of recommendations on Twitter and I am very dry under my under eyes and it makes my under eyes last all day without being cakey and cracky and dry. It's such a beautiful product and I'd highly recommend it to anyone with dry under eyes. So I just use this under each eye, making sure I really push that in and make sure I've got no crease in. And then I lightly set my eyelids too. I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2. You can tell I love this product. <laughs> And I take a big fluffy brush, this is just one I got off of Amazon and I've been using it for years. And I just push that product into the skin to make sure I'm setting my whole entire face, the jawline, the forehead and anywhere where we haven't put that translucent powder. I'm going to do my brows now, I'm going to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Um, I used to use the Brow Definer but I've gone onto this now and I am getting used to it, it is nice but I do find it a little bit tricky, not very easy for a day-to-day um, -day sort of brow product, but it does make your brows look Instagram worthy. <laughs> so I do one line underneath, one line on top, and then I'll just fill in the area that I've missed. I then want to set that with the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to go, and I use the darkest shade of powder, and I just set those brows to make sure that they look amazing. I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab palette. I'm going to go in with the shade Silk Cream and using the M443 brush, we are going to just put that down as our transition shade using windshield wiper motions, back and forward, and circular motions. You do this on both eyes, otherwise, you'll look a little bit odd. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with the shade Pukey and I take that on the same M433 brush and I put this slightly lower down in my crease just so we can give a nice dimension to the eye and make sure it looks nice and blended. I'm going to take this all over the lid as well just so that we don't have any bald spots. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha on a M506 brush I believe it is and I put that down by my lower la my upper lash line and I take the M433 brush with no extra product and I just blend that out. Then we're gonna go in with Wispy Winks Lashes in the style Little Lady. These are my favorite for day-to-day -day. Um, lashes. They're very comfortable, they're not too big, they're not too small, they just give the right amount of pizzazz. And I use that with the Duo Lash Glue and apply using a lash applicator. 
do the same on the other eye it's very easy to look down into the mirror when you're applying your lashes because otherwise you won't get glue all over your lid and now secure the inner and outer corner using a lash applicator tool then I'm going to blend my lashes and my fake lashes together using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and I try not to keep it right at the base so that I don't get any mascara on the ends of my fake lashes. Now it's time to bronze, we're going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer and a big old, big old brush and I think this is a Morphe one, I can't remember, I'll put it in the description box below and I just use this to give warmth to the face because we look a little bit toasty. Then we're going to go in with the MAC blush in the shade Fleur Power. This is one of my old ride or dies. I've had it for years now and I still haven't made a dent in it. So I take it on each cheek and then I put a little bit on the nose. Because why not? Then we're going to go in with a product that's coming soon. This is the Wispy Winks Loose Highlighter in the shade California Gleaming. And it is gleaming. Look at it. So I take this on a M5... I can't remember the brush, I'll have to put it down in the description box. It's a Morphe brush again. Um, and I take this on my cheekbones, up on my, above my brows, and it just gives a beautiful highlight. So I take it into the inner corner and onto that brow bone to make myself look a little bit more lifted. Then we're going to go in with the Gerald Cosmetics Hydra Matte in the shade Bear It All. This is a beautiful liquid lipstick formula and it really does feel so comfortable on the lips. I do have a code with Gerard Cosmetics. I am an affiliate for their company. So if you use the code ELSBELLS1 at checkout, you will get 30% off of your entire order. So save some coin, girl. Then we're going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Shimmer of Hope. And these are so cool because they have the light on the one so you can really see where you put in the lip gloss. And this is such a beautiful formula. It is not too gloopy, not too thick, but gives a lovely sheen. Now we're going to set that all in place using the Gerard Cosmetics Mystified Hydrating Spray just to lock that in for the whole day. And that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon, bye!